Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. So I've got five pound in this different casino. Um, I'm I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way of placing bets that I like to do as well. Um, I'm playing roulette. This one I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to look for the history of numbers. I'm looking where the ball's landing, and I'm going to do the numbers outside of a, a cluster of numbers. That's what I'm going to look for. They might not have it, but we'll have a look. So anyway, any numbers near five? Let's get the chart up so we can see what the where number five is. Five's there. So I'm looking at the history. Five, one, twenty-six, nineteen, thirty-two, thirty-six, fourteen, twenty-seven, one, four, twenty-one, twenty-nine. So five. No numbers around five, really. There's only one number close to five. And then we're going to go to number one. Any numbers around one hitting? One, fourteen. Uh. 1 and 14, 29, no, so anywhere in numbers around 26, 26, 32, 26, 32, 19, so we could say 0, 15 as a bet, uh, 0, 15 would be a bet on my radar because they're the only two numbers from 4, 19, there's your 0, there you go, so that would have been a hit. So now 32 is the only obvious, not 32, number um, 26, 32. 15 is the only obvious pick. 15 and 3 actually, so that's the bet. 3 and 15, because they've not hit yet. And I'm probably going to do the 21, because number 4 has already been out. Oh, actually 21 has landed. I should have done the 2, because that's the other number that hasn't yet hit in that range of numbers. So I'm on number 3... 15 and I want to get number 2 24 3, 15 so 3, 15 and 2 they're my numbers because if you look at the history we've got 32 hitting we've got the 0 hitting we have the 26 hitting um, we've had the 19 hit we've had the 4 hit, the 21's hit the only number that hasn't hit in that range of numbers is 15 um, so I've done the number on the outside, which is 3, which is also not hit. And I've done the outside of the 21, which is the 2, which hasn't yet hit. So I'm just going to keep betting on those numbers. And it's a 30 pence bet total. Flat rate until 1 hits, really. So I'm looking at numbers that haven't yet hit in a range of numbers that have been hitting. We can do the same with 1, 33, 14. We can do the 20, because that's not hit yet. Number 20 and 31. And 9. 20, 31 and 9 would be another three numbers. I could add those to the mix as well. 20, 31 and 9. Which is what I'm going to do, I think. 20, 31 and 9. So I've got three sets of numbers. I've got two areas on the wheel, zero neighbours and one neighbour basically, or 33 neighbour. Numbers around that re region, they're not the neighbour numbers of one or zero, they're just numbers in the region that haven't yet hit. If you look at the last 12 spins, numbers in that region are hitting. So I'm looking to try and pick out numbers that haven't yet hit in that region. There you go, there's my number two. So that one, that gets me into profit. I started with five pounds, I'm at seven pounds, ten. So now I can remove the two. I'll just do the uh, um, oops, 15, 21, not the 21, the 21 landed. Um, what was the other number? 31, nine, and one was it? One I think it was, oh one just landed. I can't remember what the other numbers were. But you can't move them around once you place them, which is a little bit annoying. But 3, 9, 12. So 3, 9, 15. You've had 12, yeah. 3, 9, 15, 31, wasn't it? 3, 9, 15, 31. 14's landed. Was it 20? It was 20, wasn't it? There you go. So, I could do 25 if I wanted to do 6 numbers, because the 2's landed, so we could do the number outside of the 2, which is 25. So, 
So I've done numbers in a cluster that I haven't yet hit. <laughs> in a range of numbers that I've been hitting. So. 20, there you go. There's another hit. That number hadn't yet hit, and it's in a cluster of numbers that I've been hitting. Now I'm at £9.70. So 31, 9, 15, 3, 25. And uh, now the 20's landed. 16, we'll cover 16. There's your six numbers. Uh, 33 landed. I've not seen 16 in the history. It could have been in the history, but I've just not seen it drop in. So that's why I've chosen that. I know 24 has landed. And the 33 and the 1. And the 14. 20 again. That's a repeater. Nothing sweeter. We should have picked that one now. Um, so what's my target? I don't really set a target on this setup. So I'm looking to see what happens and... I start with five pounds. I think if I can make, let's say, I don't know, get a few more wins just demonstrating this, then I'll switch gameplays and try something different. Because this is only going to work for a short period of time before it, it reverts to go back to uh, what it was doing uh, before it started to do this or do something different. So, 29. Okay, so. I'm now going to change my bet. I've got 850. 29 is dropped in. I'm going to do two pockets either side of 29. I'm going to cover the 28 and the 22. Um, the reason I'm doing 28 and 22 whoops, is because it's two pockets to the side of that 29. 22 is two pockets away from 29. And 28 is two pockets away from 29. So this is what I've seen these tables do this year. They go two pockets to the side of the last number. 22 or 28 and it's not doing it on this occasion so I'm going to do it with that same number number 8 so I'm going to do 11 and 10 so I'm just doing two pockets to the side of the last number although technically speaking I should be on the 8 neighbor anyway on this one so I'm going to do that as well basically I've covered two pockets side the side of 8 including the 8 so I've got five numbers covered so if my combo numbers pop in or numbers that I like to bet on popping, I'm going to cover that number with two pockets either side. So five numbers in total. If it's a number that I don't normally bet on, I'll do two pockets either side of the number. Just covering the two numbers only. Oh look, it's a good job I bet on that, isn't it? Because I've got a win again. So, now I'm going to go away from that area towards the 35. Um, but I'm also going to do two pockets to the side of the 8 again. So 11 and the 10. I'm going to do the 12 and the 3. So I've done 35 with one pocket either side. And I've done the 11 and the 10, which is two pockets to the side of the 8. So one pocket either side of 35. And two pockets either side of 8. And that's number 33, which is a miss. So now we go... 33 is going to probably go two pockets to the side of 33. So we can go 20 and 24. And do I want to repeat it? I might actually do the neighbor number. Yeah, I will. So I've bet the only number I don't have covered is 33, but I've done two pockets either side of 33. The reason I've extended it to two numbers is because I think it might hit the neighbor number, immediate number, rather than the two pockets to the side if it hits. Should have gone zero now. Four. Who? A lot of. Um, <clears throat> what about actually four? Four with two pockets on the side. Let's go with two and fifteen. Let's see if those hit. Just the two numbers. So I'm doing two pockets to the side of the four. In this case, it'll be two and fifteen. I want to see if I can catch one of these numbers. So I'm only covering two numbers. <laughs> So I'm on 2 and 15. Not too far. 36. Now that's a combo number for me, 36. So I'd do 36 with two pockets and four with one pocket. So my jackpot number is 36. To repeat. If it repeats or gets close to 36, I've got two pockets either side of that 36, so I'll catch a number there. If it moves back to four, I've got that covered with one pocket either side. 
So 36, my, my combo number is 36.4 or 36.19. Yeah, ran on to 12. We've got to change a dealer. Dealer change normally gives you zero neighbours, but 12 has landed. That fits within the, the zero neighbours that I will be betting on. 12.21 is the combo bet for me. So, I'm going to give it a bit of a boost on the 12 and the 21. So, 12 might repeat. Also, we might see zero neighbours pop in because of the change of dealer. Um, even though the 12s landed, which wouldn't be a bet for zero neighbours for me because of the 12 landing. Because that would, be a, that would have been a hit on the bet that I would be placing on a dealer change. Zero with four pockets either side would cover the 12. 27. Now I'm definitely covering zero neighbours. Um, and I'm going to do the 34, the 36. So I've done two pockets to the side of 27 in case it lands the two pocket either side of the last number out. And I've also done zero neighbours because 27 likes a zero. 23, so it's... Cara, amanhã o zero just in case that decides to show up. Down to three pounds. I was as high as uh, eleven pounds, somewhere I think. Probably should have stopped at doubling up, um, which would have been a good point to stop at, but there you go. Zero is my jackpot number, and the three. 26, perfect. That is a perfect hit. Right in between, look at my balance, 24.60. Boom, baby. 26 to repeat, so with one number either side. And 26 to go to 27 or 13. Maybe do the 36 as well. There you go. So 26 to repeat, or two pockets to the side of 26, or back down to 13, 27, 32. The so 13 or 26, basically. And it's 31. 13, 31. So we're going to do 13, and we do the 31, and we do the 31 with two pockets in case it's there, and we do the 13 with one pocket in case it goes there. So, I've got my best bets are 31 and 13. I've got 20 pounds in the balance, I start with 5 pounds. I'm showing a few combo numbers and a few different game ideas to build your balance. So, 13, 31. Number 8. 8 likes to repeat August at a neighbour number, so we're definitely covering that 8 all day long. Thank you very much. Now, I would normally cover the 35, best do that as well then, got it. With one number either side. So, I've been playing for 13 minutes now, just over. Um, so I'm on 8 or 35. Mm, I pulled it back to 1, that didn't go far enough. So 1's a great number to cover, 147. And this is probably going to be my final bet. Um, £3.60. Mm, do I do the 13, 36? No, I'm not going to do the 13 or 36. I don't think it's going to go to 13 or 36. I think it's going to go to 1, 4 or 7 with one number either side. But these are the best numbers to cover after one drops in. 1, 4, 7 with one number either side. Nine numbers covered. Oh my god, that's one off. That is one away. That's kind of a kick in the nuts, that what, that's what that is. 15 to 24. Let's see if it goes there. Um, back down to £10 from where I was. Um, so 15 or 24 with one number either side. 15 and 24 are my jackpot numbers. Wow, 36. 
No. Um, I'm going to stop there. I am not going to continue because I don't feel this table's playing now in my favour. Uh, I did get my balance up to about 20 something pounds. Um, just want to show different ways of playing roulette basically. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's me done. I've got 10 pounds in the balance. Start with five. I'll come back later and do a little bit more. See you soon.